Hi, Sai. Welcome back to Lian's Garden. I hope you have a beautiful day because this video I'm just filming, I don't know when it was well. Uh, 7.30 p.m. in the evening, the outside is still quite bright. So I just thought that I just filmed the video under my carport uh, because under my carport, I have quite a few different variety of beautiful fuchsia. So I want to show you and I want to uh, show you how I care and grow the fuchsia from the cuttings. All right, so let me turn around and show you different varieties that I got. Oh, by the way, I don't know much about the variety though because uh, some they uh, were given to me by your friends, uh, cuttings, and some I got from the farmer market. So I'm not quite sure about the variety. All right, let's turn around the camera. All right, first of all, you can see the beautiful dangling flower dripping down like this. This is the cutting that my friend she gave me. Uh, I think she, um, at that time, it's already watered because she just put the cutting in the water throughout the winter and the cutting just watered out at the end she just gave me. And I have several uh, cutting of this, but oh, at the end only one survived because we got uh, like very cold winter and after that I did not protect them and after that most of them they die. Uh, but I got this cutting just a uh, flourish and it seems never been like heavier than like this at the moment. A uh, few weeks ago it full of bloom actually and you can see some of this this thing this uh, is the span bloom I think might become the seed head. Uh, and over here this one uh, the flower normally much bigger as well, bigger or smaller. But anyway, this one look uh, different, and you can see. Uh, I think maybe the uh, the flower smaller, uh, but it quite white outside. Uh, and this one I got from the farmer market. Uh, and over here another one I got this one from the farmer market. This one more like all the way pink around. Uh, this one I got, I don't know, the same time as this one just a few months ago or two months ago when they were quite small plants. Uh, this one I got it when um, I bought they got the task like this Fusia Archie Oven. Oven? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure about the variety but if you want you can google it. Uh, and over here, this is the first year I grow um, more th uh, like, than one variety of fuchsia because I, uh, before I just had only one plant, like this one. And over here, I got one quite large plant that I uh, I got it before, like in the middle of the winter actually, this one. And after that, my friend on that day, she bought a different color. I mean, the same uh, type like this, but the white color. And after that, she gave me a cutting. And after that, I, what did I do with the cutting? Oh, after that, here the cutting. Here the cutting of it, but this one they more inside, it more white inside, and then see I, I grew the cutting like right in the middle of the winter, but I kept the cutting inside. I mean indoor with just normal temperature, uh, inside my house. And of course, when I we turn the heater on and it got some warm, uh, heater during the day. But if not, when we go to bed, normally we turn the heater off. But anyway, and it does wood out actually and go into beautiful place like this. Uh, over here, let me show you. Uh, over here, as if one of course I put the cutting straight into the soil. Uh, and over here, and after that, my friends, she, she got, uh, uh, she, she lost the white color of the variety that she bought. But on anyway, I said to her that I can uh, do the cutting of this variety, of this pink color. And when they grow, I can uh, give one or two for her. But anyway, and uh, this, I got three cutting, wooded cutting grow very well with this container actually. Uh, three in here that I grew uh, two months ago to do the cutting uh, in the spring or in the autumn with a like, very cool temperature or um, like 15 to 20, 25, they root out very quick after just a while or two weeks and you can see it start to see the growth but over here this cutting they have been growing this container for two months now and you can see that some of flower are like starting uh, to flower now actually some blooms started to open so that is really nice and a lot of people they say that we should take the flower off for the cutting to, to develop more but I don't mind about that I do like enjoy 
looking at them. All right, and over here, so this one uh, I kept inside my, um, it's an egg bought in bundlings, by the way. Uh, this one, what is it called? Fusia Bella Mix. Uh, so on this cutting, I grow from this mother bush. <laughs> and uh, this one, I, I got it uh, in the middle of the winter. And then after that, I just kept uh, the bush inside my house. So the whole winter, it had been blooming just the same night. It just cold, but I just put it next to a window sill where it have some direct sun. You know, in the winter, it's not too bad uh, for, the, for the heat from the window. But I normally I try to avoid to put it very close to the window. Uh, because uh, if it's too close and sometimes we got very intense uh, sun and that might burn the leaves. Uh, and over here, let me show you this cutting. So this one is the one. Let me show you just a second. This project I meant to do it so I made this video. I meant to film it for a long time, but I have been so busy here to do other project. Uh, so this cutting is the branches of this Boots that it were broken. It's just my daughter. She playing the toys around, and after that, uh, hit into one of the branches of uh, of the cutting, and after that, it broken. After that, I just stick the cutting straight into the water, and again, this cutting has been very well uh, developed with a lot of roots uh, on it, and I I. I think this cutting has been here, I think, for two and a half months or three months actually. And so normally, with the cutting you put in the water, either um, uh, either the soft wood cutting or like, not too soft, you know, and either or the like, semi hard wood cutting, they reach out between two weeks, they very quick. Uh, and over here, let me show you what do we mean soft wood cutting and semi uh, soft wood cutting. So, soft wood cutting, example, on the very top here. You can do it actually. It's very easy to grow. Normally, they just cut the top on the top off. They just stop for the cutting to grow, you know. And so to let them to know that, oh, I'm gonna produce the root. I'm not gonna produce the flower or leaves. Uh, so just uh, on the top here, we say soft wood cutting and semi hard wood cutting a little bit down on the way down here more. And hard wood cutting kind of like the previous year that it grow. Uh, so some uh, my friends, she did the cutting from the hard wood cutting. She put the cutting in the winter. Actually, she cut the cutting, put in the water through the winter and it just rooted out and she gave me. So example, this is the branches that is finished blooming. Either you choose the one that finished blooming or uh, haven't bloomed yet. Either way, they are fine. They're very easy to grow them from the cutting. I just snip the branches off and then I just chop on the or cut on the flower seed off like this or the seed head off and then I just take the leaf off as well because if you put this one into the water and the leaf will get rotten uh, just like so and to put in the water just like that and after a while two weeks they can root out very quick and to put it like, in the bright night uh, area and not in the direct sunlight and to turn the water uh, once a week and and yeah just nice so and after that when you see they uh, they, they are root like quite established just around maybe uh, there is this much about three to five centimeters like this and you should pop them on. Uh, and another way now I want to show you to put, put the cutting in the soil and just the same. Like to snip the cutting, maybe I choose this variety. This one on this side. Example this one. Example this one and again take the on the lower leaf off and I hope you can see me clearly though because I got the plant all over me and then I take the top off and just reduce the number of the leaves too because you don't want so many leaves there that could make the cutting dry out and just like so and you put the cutting into the soil and I normally I just use premium potting mix and then I mix some uh, with, uh, mix with perlite let me show you so over here I got some uh, premium potting mix and mix together with perlite it's kind of like 50-50 uh, and then here the cutting that I just show you uh, I just cut uh, the cutting below the leaf note of the leaf here uh, I hope you can see uh, 
Can you see that? Just the leaf here, I took the leaves off and on the top here as well. So I took very two nib nodes, one, two, to bear into the soil. Normally, I'm not picky much with the little cutting like this because they're very easy to grow. I just put the cutting straight into the soil like this. Uh, and make sure you do a uh, few extra of the cutting as well because uh, if one did not take and you got some other cutting uh, as a backup, but I have to say they're very easy to grow from the cutting, both in the soil or in the water. Uh, but I think I prefer to do it in the water because you know uh, after a while, or two or three weeks, and the, you can see the their roots starting to develop as well. So uh, you like certainly sure that which cutting you take, which one is uh, not taken. All right. And again, make sure you keep the cutting, pot cutting uh, you put in the soil in the like shady area, doesn't have uh, like direct sunlight and doesn't have uh, like the area to expose because if the cutting you have no roots yet and if you put it right in the middle of somewhere with uh, so much wind, you know, and that wind treads the cutting and they dry out so quick and always keep the cutting moist. And even the plants that when you already have a potted plant like this, as well, uh, they prefer on stay on the damp uh, side, so they don't want to be dry out completely. Uh, they they can stay okay with the dry for like, one or two days, but you definitely don't want they stay very very dry uh, because after that they will die. So for carrying future, in my experience anyway, my future they stay under my car pot the whole time. Uh, from the spring to like early winter uh, because this area I got kite lime I think quite a good spot for them because I have been growing one of the main bush for like a year now uh, so is this area it got like direct sun in the early morning just I think just well, two hours and after that it's shade or most of the time and most of the day it's shade uh, so I think it's they, they're loving it they love their life over here and in the winter I grew would uh, recommend to bring your future in the protected area out of the forest because in my experience they don't like forests at all. Uh, and I think if you got the greenhouse, I think they could be okay because the like, greenhouse they can protect it from the forest, you know. Uh, but I think the area here um, like under my carport a little bit too cold for them in the winter. Or maybe I can show you one of the cuttings. This one that I grew in uh, like in the middle of the winter actually. Uh, let me show you. Um, let's see. So that means how many months now? Maybe four or five months? Example. Let me just tip it now. Uh, I need to find something so not I don't make the mess. All right, here you see. Can you see that on the beautiful and healthy roots? I need to report it though. And maybe I show you this one as well. So example this one. At the mention to use this one, I wool this cutting just around two months ago. And let's see. I said to my friend, I can give her one or two cuttings as well. So maybe I just put them up with you together. So you might want to see. I think they very well rooted in. I got a hard time to pull the cutting out actually. Okay. All right, they finally out. Look at this, they're growing very well. Okay, I'm gonna divide them and put them up then. So in here, like you can see, I put the cutting in half of perlite, half of the soy. Look at that, they're looking really good, very healthy. And this one as well. Look at that. So I gotta get some potting mix and I gonna show you how I pot them. So in here, just premium potting mix, and then I just put the cutting thread in. Example, like so. I just fill half of the pot with the potting mix, and I just top them and press the cutting well. I think I can use some of the left, I mean the leftover from the previous uh, a premium that I used for the cutting before. I think they will be fine. Just nice so. Look at that. Looking really good. 
Let me get other two uh, more pots. All right, I got two more pots over here for this cutting. And the same. They can take off very quick. Like that. Maybe I should do this one as well. Remember this, I got one cutting that I kept or I put the cutting from the water and in the water I should put it up as well. Poor thing, stay in the water for a long time. All right, all done. Now I got more plants. Look at that. And another one. I need to report it as well. Let me show you. Here is the other one. Oh no, my baby. It's very late in the evening now. You know, well, 8 p.m. in the evening and the sun is still shining. So that's why I filmed the video under my carport. So that is for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that it's helpful. And I will see you next video.